Okay, hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to talk about insulin fasting and you might not have heard this term before but I'm going to explain what that is. Some people refer to it by that term, some other people are referring it to it by other terms but it's not important. What's important is what we're actually trying to achieve here. But I would like to ask you a favour first and can you please just give this video a thumbs up and we really appreciate that. And you see the subscribe button down there, just click it. And if you want to get the updates when I'm uploading new videos, you also click that little bell and it will notify you every time that I'm uploading a video or when I'm going live, which I haven't done in a while, but I'm probably going to start doing that in the new year. And uh, yeah, by doing that, you will help this channel grow. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to my free membership and you're interested in quitting sugar, you can do that as well and you'll find the link down in the description to this video. So insulin fasting, it's not really fasting actually. All it means is that you don't have your body creating and releasing a lot of insulin. So what you're trying to achieve is to eat in a way that mimics fasting almost so that you don't have this insulin release and then the cellular response to insulin. So you're giving your body a break, and if you are somewhat insulin resistant, this can improve your insulin sensitivity, and therefore reverse pre-diabetes, etc. So this is a very good way of doing it if you don't want to go on a proper fast, if you maybe you're scared of fasting, you have never done it before, it might be a really good way of starting doing that. And it's actually really, really easy to do. So, what's what, why would you do this? Why not just fast? There is actually no reason why you shouldn't fast, be fasting. But as I say, some people might be scared of fasting, so then we can do this instead. And when you are fat adapted, so when your body is used to using fat for fuel, you will pretty much have zero cravings for sweets or carbohydrates. And now I'm only talking about the physiological cravings, you will probably still have all these triggers that makes you think about them. And that, or when you're bored or when you're stressed, when you're restless, whatever it is, you might want to go to the sweets as well. I have that. But I can easily get rid of the physiological cravings by going very low carb for two, three weeks, not even that nowadays, but in the beginning, if you've never done it before, it takes a little bit longer. And then I'm good. So if you're trying to lose weight, this is also a really good way of doing that. The just getting used to burning fat for energy is obviously a very good start, and you can do that with this method as well. And so many people are scared of not eating. There is nothing to be scared of, but we're just so scared that we're missing out and there's not enough food and we're going to be hungry, we're going to metabolize all our muscle mass and all these thoughts which are actually not true. But media likes to scare us. Some of them comes from food manufacturers that want us to eat every three hours so that they can sell us snacks. And some of them come from fitness magazines that have read this and thinking, oh yeah, we need to keep our energy up because that's the only way we can build muscle and otherwise we won't have energy to exercise and perform at our max. And all of that is bullshit. But that's not what I'm going to talk about anyway. So what it just means is that you go as low carb as you possibly can. So... You can go on a carnivore diet, for example, and just eat meat and fat. That way, you're pretty much insulin fasting. There is very little insulin release from protein. There is a lot of insulin release from carbohydrates. But the most insulinogenic effect from protein comes when you eat it in combination with carbohydrates. So if you eat protein on its own, you might get a little bit of an insulin release, unfortunately, but that is what's going to happen. But it's not huge, and there's nothing that will tax your system or make your blood sugar swing massively and make you crave things as a result of eating protein. 
But what you can do, what many keto people are doing, I think they would probably call this a fat fast, which is an insulin fast. So what they mean with that, it, it doesn't really make sense in my head, because when you're fasting, you're excluding things. But when you're doing a fat fast, you're only eating fat. So I'm calling it an insulin fast because we don't want insulin with ex excluding insulin, if you like. So you can, if you like, just eat pure fat for a whole day. No proteins, no carbs, and you're doing a perfect insulin fast. Perfectly, um, personally, if I was doing it, I would have some sort of protein and fat. Lots of fat. And that's it. That's the best way of doing that. Um, 20 years ago, I used to eat every three hours because I believe that that was the ideal way of keeping my blood glucose and insulin stable. Totally wrong. It messed me up massively. And I just wanted to keep eating and eating and eating and you getting into that behavior. And it's still coming back to me every now and then. Even though I'm perfectly happy to just eat once or twice a day, most of the time, I still need to be somewhat conscious of that because I am a person who now wants to go and snack all the time. So when I have salami or something, even if it's just cooked chicken wings or whatever, even if it's good food, I want to go to this behavior and just keep eating and snacking and grazing all day long because I've taught myself to do that. So you can still do this on an insulin fast. You can satisfy your snacking need, which I don't necessarily recommend, but you can still do that if you find it really, really hard to deal with and get the insulinogenic effect that you actually want. So anyway, fat in general doesn't raise your insulin at all. Just know that. So fat, you can eat as much fat as you like, as long as it's pure fat. And two, proteins only raises it a little bit. So if you want to add proteins, just do that. And if you don't want to eat anything at all, you might want to listen tomorrow when I'm talking about insulin fast. Oh, sorry, intermittent fasting. So if you want to eat just fat, it's perfectly safe. You can do that. Personally, I prefer to do a proper fast as in a water fast or actually an intermittent fast. I don't like just eating fat. But that's me personally. So it's not palatable to me and I would just avoid that. And that was it for today. Um, I think I had been rambling on a little bit, but there we go. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again tomorrow for the intermittent fasting video. Take care.